So today's video we're going to talk all about saddles, saddle pain, saddle pressure and different tips and tricks and solutions to having saddle pain. So I'm just going to briefly talk about what has happened with me and why I've actually changed saddle after having it for almost a year. Um, I got the Diva, it's Cell Italia Diva Gel Flow and Oh, and just briefly, if you are vegan, you also want to get the white version because white is synthetic, the black version is leather. So yeah, I had this and really liked it, really got on well with it. And I've ridden about 5,000 kilometers on this thing. I've also got it on that bike there, which is my carbon bike, which has had nowhere near as much hammer as my alloy bike. So yeah, I've done about 5,000 kilometers with this one saddle. And all of a sudden, it, it's all fine, it was all good, I had a bike fit, everything was good, it felt fine, no problems. Until about a month ago where I started experiencing a little bit of like soft tissue pain. And I just thought, you know, I've been doing a lot more uh, miles recently and I thought maybe it was just down to that. However, I realised it was actually getting worse and I checked all my measurements were the same on the bike so there's nothing that had slipped because that is one of the problems um, or one of the things that you need to look at if you are experiencing um, new saddle pain. So make sure that you are still in the same position as you were. So always mark out where your seat and the rails and the clamp and everything is on your saddle. Um, so yeah, I everything was in the same position and I just couldn't understand why I was experiencing so much pain. And it took a while for me to realise I actually went on an 80k ride, which is very short really for um, rides that I'm used to doing and I was just like in agony, I, it ch I chafed so much um, on the soft tissue area shall we say and I just, I just, it was so frustrating because I was like I don't understand what it is, nothing's changed and then I realised this saddle has actually collapsed, the saddle has, is given, is given way basically, it's just had too much and it's not, it can't withstand that much for me, in my experience, this saddle cannot handle that many kilometres. What I'm going to show you, I don't know how easy it's going to be to show you on camera. So basically, when I'm sat, I don't know if you can see, look at the bend on that. Show you different angles. Some saddles should um, have some give in them, like say for example the Brooks, which is basically just rubber, uh, well the rubber version anyway, um, and you could just sit in that like a hammock. Whereas this should be more structured, it should, even though there's a lot of padding, um, it was a lot harder when I first had it. So over time that has obviously given way, and the reason that I was experiencing pain is because when that has been pressed, the front section has lifted up and that's what's been chafing me and I double checked this with that one, with that saddle that I've not used that much and that one is so much firmer than this because I thought maybe it's just this and I've never noticed how kind of um, flexible it is but it's not, it's just because it's had that much wear um, and also when you've got a cut out you've also got more chance of it wearing because there's not as much kind of plastic in one area to kind of hold the shape so that is definitely something you need to look at if you do have this saddle or similar saddles. So if you are experiencing pain, look at your saddle, check it. Is it is it still as firm and as um, supportive as when you first bought it? So that's the main thing. So what I've done now is I've actually swapped to a Bontrager Anja. I'm going to show you a video of it now so you can get an idea of what it's like. Um, and this is already feels a lot better than you know this was feeling at the end of its life <laughs> because it was so painful and you know how frustrating it is that you want to ride and you want to get out there and you want to do the kilometers that you want to do and the rides that you want to do and your saddle is just not living up to it and it's just so frustrating so that is they're the things that you need to look at so has it collapsed is it in the same position as it's always been and is it the actual right width for you because sit bones um width can make a lot of difference so you need to look at all these different aspects and also I'm going to do a separate video on this is is where your if you've not had a bike fit where your saddle should be positioned should it should it be further forward or should it be further back and um, how high should your saddle actually be so I'm going to do a separate video specifically on those topics to try and help you get your saddle in the right position uh, but for me now I feel like 
I found the right saddle and yeah just feels a lot better so I just wanted to share that because I, I never realized that a saddle could collapse I just thought a saddle was basically indestructible unless it literally snapped in half and that is not the case so even though it looks okay it's actually not and yeah this will not be going back on the bike potentially maybe selling that saddle now as well and getting the same saddle so I'm used to the same one who knows but just wanted to share that experience with you and if you've got tips about saddles any saddle tips I mean saddles are so kind of personal it's hard to kind of be like oh well this saddle will work for you because it works for me it's not always the case um but yeah share your tips share your saddle uh tips below and i will see you next video